in the secret world, the hardest agenda to understand comes from those who are not playing the same game. Hello, welcome to Questions, a short form lore series where, rather than giving you the answers, I simply raise the questions so that you may find out for yourself. I will try to remain as light on spoilers as I can up to this point. Today the big question is, what are the Phoenicians doing in Kingsmouth? Our first contact with the Brotherhood of Phoenician Sailors is in the steam tunnels, where they are either guarding or stealing Beaumont's package, depending on your interpretation. So, which one is it? That's kind of an important question, as if they're stealing it, then who's paying them? If they're guarding it, then from who? The last time we see them is as we're about to leave the zone, where we run into this very threatening man named Ellis Hill. In his first mission, he essentially intimidates us into fixing the runway lights. We have to brave drog, electricity, acid. It seems like someone has gone out of their way to keep us from doing this. The golem couldn't be responsible, so who is trying to keep us from reactivating the lights? So who is it? Who doesn't want the airport lights on, and why? After dealing with the scrap golem, we find the corpse of a man who used to work here at the airport. He's been murdered, implied to be by Ellis Hill, and he reveals to us that Ellis Hill is not who he seems. When we find the real Ellis Hill's body, the differences become far more obvious. What made the Phoenicians think they could get away with this swap? How long was fake Ellis Hill posing as real Ellis Hill before we got here? Before the fog got here? And why didn't he do a better job of burying this body? I mean, jeez, take some pride in your work, man. The last mission that has us deal directly with Phoenicians and Kingsmith we overhear Ellis Hill trying to receive a radio transmission. He then tries to play it off and says that the actual radio tower is broken. Must be why he's trying to use this portable military radio. We find out he's lying that the radio tower looks to have been deliberately sabotaged. We repair it pretty easily and patch into a Morse code frequency detailing a drop point. But hang on a minute. He was hearing voices on the radio. We couldn't tell what they were saying, but those were definitely human voices. What was he actually trying to listen to? At the drop zone, we find several Phoenician agents and a mysterious crate containing a filth-infected colossus. But why are they delivering filth-infected creatures to the island? What purpose could they possibly serve? And although that does it for missions that involve the Phoenicians in Kingsmouth, there's one more thing worth mentioning. In the zombie-infested warehouse behind Ellis Hill, you can find these crates that bear the Phoenician's logo. Strong branding is a must with conspiracies. Some of the crates are smashed open. What were they doing with these crates? Were they importing or exporting? And what's in them? Thank you for watching this video. With the recent changes to YouTube, I must stress the importance Please subscribe. Like, share, hit the bell, whatever, but subscribing is paramount right now. And if you like what we do, please consider showing your appreciation on Patreon. It would help us deal with this latest YouTube mess. And if you did not like this, then may Logan Paul be your next door neighbor.